We want to prove that if a, b, c, and d are integers, with a, b minus c, d is 16, and a, c plus b, d is 1, then a times b times c times d must be 0. In other words, one or at least one of these four letters must be 0. Well, this is actually quite a straightforward problem, but what I like about this problem is that there are multiple ways to solve this. So I'm going to solve it in the way I think is probably the easiest uh, way to solve this. But if you can think of any others, let me know in the description, not in the description, in the comments down below. All we're going to do is take these two equations and just square them. So if I take the first equation and square it, I get a squared b squared minus two lots of a, b, c, d. Uh, and then plus c squared d squared equals 16 squared, which is 256. I'm going to do the same thing with the second equation. I'm going to square that. So I get a squared c squared plus 2abcd plus b squared d squared equals 1. And now you can notice we got a minus 2abcd and a plus 2abcd. So it seems tempting to add these two guys up. Let's do that. Well, if I add up a squared b squared and a squared c squared, that's going to give me a squared lots of b squared plus c squared. And similarly here, I can factor out the d squared, and I'm going to get b squared plus c squared. And 256 plus 1, that's 257. OK, well, I can actually just factor out b squared plus c squared from both these terms. So I'm going to get b squared plus c squared times a squared plus d squared. And this equals 257. But the interesting thing here is 257 is a prime number. And since a, b, c, and d are integers, these guys will be integers. These guys will be integers. integers. And so the only way that this is possible uh, is if one of these numbers is 1 and 1 is 257, because quite clearly each of these brackets are positive. So I don't have to worry about minus 1 and minus 257. So one of these brackets has to be 1. doesn't matter which one. Let's say it's b squared plus c squared equals 1. Now it's pretty clear that 1 of b or c has to be 0, and the other one has to be either 1 or minus 1. Because if neither of these guys were 0, that means that the modulus of b, modulus of c is at least 1. But then this, you know, this will be 1 squared plus 1 squared, or at least that. And that's 2. So it couldn't be equal to 1. So this equation here implies that either b or c is 0, and so therefore the product of the four letters is 0.